Hello, I'm back, so where's your hoe? This dirty gang and we stay on our toes. This be the year that I'ma do shows. Still riding around with a motherfucking pole. If you wanna get it, we'll hit it, let's go. Look at my mouth, man, that shit on froze. You already know that you need you a dose. I'ma stack hard and pull off in the ghost. Hey, damn, I'ma go ham. Skirt, 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 stacking all of these bands. Remember days, fold deep in the band. It turned to one deep cause I stuck to the plan. Whipping it up and I get in the pan. This foreign dope, it comes straight from Japan. Rocking that dope, you don't understand. So I'm rocking that dope and you don't understand. Hey, what's Gucci, y'all? Um, welcome to a new vlog. I got a new mic for the camera, which was very unnecessary because it's the autofocus that's making that that's making that noise. I didn't even I didn't understand that a mic is a fucking mic that's gonna hear the autofocus no matter what. So I kind of messed up on that, guys. I bought a hundred dollar mic and I didn't even need it. All I needed to do was put my camera on manual focus. But since I can't do that, it's still on autofocus and you're still gonna hear clicking. And I wasted a hundred dollars for nothing. Well, I guess it's a windproof mic, so when we're in the wind, I guess it'll be a little better. So I guess I had to do it sometime. But new mic coming, new camera coming soon. Fuck this camera, man. I don't like Sony cameras at all. They overheat. They're hard. They uh, lose battery quick as hell and all that, <laughs> all that bad stuff. But without further ado, guys, I'm gonna be telling y'all how I got kicked out of elementary school, as y'all can see in the title. This is a story time, and it's gonna be lit. So, when I was a young kid, I actually went out of my house at four years old, snuck out in my underwear. Ran all the way to my school, to my brother's school, to go get him out of school when I was four years old. Cops came, everybody came. They, um, it was a crazy experience. Like I just left my mom because she was, um, she said when we when we wake up, we're gonna go pick up your brothers. So we woke up and I was like, bro, I'm gonna go pick up my brother. So I left without her. I don't even know how I knew where the school was. Like I'm so, I was so smart, dude. Like I actually just went by myself at four years old in my underwear to, to my school, to my school that I was gonna go to. I wasn't in elementary yet, guys. So by the time I went to elementary, um, it was when I started getting in trouble. It was the same elementary I went to when I ran bare, I mean, when I ran butt naked kind of all the way to school, you know what I'm saying? So, long story short, I fucking, I ended up just uh, going to that same school that my brothers went to. Um, it was about second grade is when I first got in trouble my first time. First grade to second grade, I had straight A's and it was so easy to get straight A's. All you really had to do was be there, you know what I'm saying? So I was actually doing good in school and I actually liked school and I actually wanted to be somebody and pay attention as far as what, what to do in school. So until one faithful day, some girl named Amber, bro, she comes into class. It was like second grade and I was, we were only there for a couple weeks. She had leftover fireworks from 4th of July. This is a firework I've never seen in my life, bro. She had something that was, like, crazy, bro. Like, she had those fireworks that they were like this. It was like a black cat, but it was a string black cat. So, if you pull these two strings, it pops. You know what I'm saying? And what ended up happening was she was like... She was like, um... You pull these two strings and it pops, just like a black hat. And I said, no way it could do that. I've never seen it, so I was uh, so curious to try it. All right, y'all, so all I remember is just popping the motherfucking thing in the classroom. Our ears are ringing like everybody's just, like, lost as hell, bro. Like, I, honestly, the teacher got so scared, she thought, like, it was a gunshot. And she got so mad at us, bro. She grabbed us from our hands. Very hard, by the way. And she fucking put us to the principal's office. So at this point, Amber's crying like a little biash. And I'm like, bro, don't cry. I tell her, I'm like, nah, you gonna be alright. Don't cry. And she's all like, she, she kept on crying. And she made me want to cry because I'm like, bro, it's my first time getting in trouble. I'm thinking my mom's gonna whip my ass. <laughs> So if y'all don't know, like my mom, she, we I never had a dad, but like my mom did try to take care of us until I was like six years old and that's when it started falling off, you know, with CPS and all that stuff to where I got taken away at nine years old. But I don't want to really get into that. Maybe another video for that. But um, 
Yeah, so basically, um, we pop this firework and we're getting in trouble. I get expelled. And in second grader gets kicked out of elementary school. Wow. That's when I knew I was a savage, man. A straight savage. So, and what ended up happening was, I moved to an even worse school. This school was a school of beef rivalry. Rivalry. There was this called 19th Street, and right by the 19th Street, well, on 19th Street is Sarah King. And on 19th Street, it was a war going on between BTK, NSB, and BC. You see, it was crazy because every time we're in the, it's called like A Ball Park, and they would have gun, gun, um, gun, gun. I don't keep on saying. They, I can't even say none of that, man. But matter of fact, it was very wild. That's all I could say. And I'm telling you, it was either you're on this side or you're on this side. It was no in-between. So it's kind of hard to be in that area. You can't even red or wrong color or you will get shot. You will probably die. You know what I'm saying? But God's great. Always blessing me. But, um, yeah, I went to this school called Sarah King. So now I'm in second grade at Sarah King. And there's this teacher named Miss Controla. Miss Controla... She was she was pretty bad, bro. I'm not even gonna front. She was pretty bad, and she said if if we're good, like every Friday, she would give us little ice creams. It was those ice cream cup thingies, and she'll give us like uh like zoo animal crackers, bro. She, them hoes were live back then. But me, then I met some guy named Eric, bro. Shout outs to my bro named Eric. So I met homie Eric, right? And bro, we did not care about them ice creams no more, man. Bro, we are in second grade, skipping school in second grade, bro. How the fuck this nigga? Bro, we're in second grade and we're in the computer lab instead of being in Miss Controller's class. And he taught me how to talk and everything. Like, I was like, one time Miss Controller told Eric to come back into class. And I told Eric, I was like, Miss Controller said you're supposed to be in the class. And he's just like, you're supposed to? You're supposed to? You mean you're supposed to? I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess. But honestly, that's how I talk now. <laughs> so who cares? <sighs> Shout out my boy Eric. Like he taught me how to draw too. So that's basically like I was an artist. I didn't have time for school. Like I didn't like school. Like I would be in school and just draw 24 seven. All right, you guys. So by third grade, I got taken away by CPS because my mom. Um, it's a long story, guys. I, I'll tell. I'll talk about that in another video. But. Actually, my rich cousins, well, they're kind of middle class. They're, at the time, they were middle class. Now, they're probably doing way more better. But um, they had, like, a nice house in the north side, and they moved us to the north side when I was in third grade. Um, and at this point, I was going to school with these white kids now. So it was a whole different scene from Storm and, and Sarah King to this motherfudging, um, oh, my bad. To this motherfucking new school uh, with all these white kids. And these white kids, bro, they will bully me. Because I was Mexican, right? I wouldn't, I can't even chill because they will fucking do stuff that was so evil. Like, these white people are evil, bro. These little kids, bro, they will they would say that. They will tell the teacher that I'm peeing in the woods. And I'm not even, why the fudge would I pee in the woods? We got a school with a restroom, bro. Who the hell do they think I am? Teachers thought I peed in the woods. I got in trouble. Bruh, this was the worst school, like, ever. Like, I thought, you know, at least go to a school where you could fit in. Because if you don't, all those white kids, bro, I'm telling you, they had all the new stuff and all that good stuff. Luckily, my cousins, you know, they bought me new shoes and all that stuff. Like I said, my mom, she was kind of not doing good. And we didn't have new shoes. My mom literally asked the neighbors if she they had any if their sons had any older shoes that we could use because we have nothing, no new shoes. We stopped at Falas Paradise, bro, for all my life like and not all well until I got my own money, of course, but like I had to make this shit pop myself. People think that I live off my mom and all that stuff. Hell no. I pay everything. I do everything my fucking self. Every fucking thing like yeah, I get help here and there, but it's not financial help. It's like help for my mind type shit, like self-ease. But anyway, so third grade, I flunk third grade. Because those white kids were getting on my on my nerves. Like, I couldn't even pay attention in school. They were just like, and I was going to box a lot of them, but they, they never worry about it. But anyway, so what ended up happening was by fourth grade, I finally get to go back to my mom. And, um, 
wait, yeah, fourth grade. And fourth grade was crazy, man. We got some kids stuck in the elevator. All right, y'all. So now in fourth grade, it's like we we got some kids stuck in the elevator, and um, we got in trouble for that. Like we pressed all the button, buttons and all that stuff. His name was Smiley, and the ambulance and firefighters had to come and all that crazy stuff. And um, then by the by the end of the year, kind of almost. I actually have to take a shit, right? And it's like one of those hot ass days and I have to walk home. Obviously, my, my parents never picked me up from school. I had to walk like a mile home. So I, I'm walking this. No, 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 no. I finally go out to out school, right? And I was about to walk home until boom, my stomach kicked me, bruh. I was like, damn, the motherfucking crispitos, dog, in the morning. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I'm like, oh, shit, I got to go back. Nope, I go back because I already knew, like, one time I actually fucking almost put my pants on the way home. So I knew I was never going to do that again. So I had to go poop. And there's this teacher named Miss Vasquez was my fourth grade English teacher, right? She's chilling right there, and I'm just like, boom. I, I, I try to get in the door, and she blocks me. I have my backpack, right? Look, I have a backpack to show y'all. That's so awesome. So, look, she blocks me, right? And she's all like, you can't come in. You already left the school campus or whatever. I need to go to the restroom, Ms. Vasquez. Can you please let me in? It was my homie Lil C with me. All right, y'all. So, at this point, I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Okay. And this is what I do with the backpack. It's like this in my hand. And then I go like this. And the string hit her face. Right in the eye, bro, and I just see her, oh, oh, I'm like, oh, shit, I fucked up. And then Lil C ran, bro, <laughs> my nigga was gone. And I was like, oh, shit. Dude, some guy saw her doing that, and then that guy, he worked at the computer lab, and he got my arm, he pulled me into the, like, it was like the main office. And they put me into, like, the conference room or something like that. Like, the officer came, an officer came, they called the cops, my mom came, my mom was like, is it really necessary to have a cop here? Like, he, like, obviously, and then it was an empty backpack, too. And she's all like, my mom picked up the backpack. She's like, really? Really? This light-ass backpack? And you're over here crying like that? And, because, like, there was no books or nothing like that in there. So my mom was, like, kind of proving the point, even to the cop. And she's like, so can I press charges on a nine-year-old kid in fourth grade? Wow, you're fucking petty as fuck. The officer tells her, tells her, we can't even take him to jail. He's nine years old. If he was ten years old, we could put you could press charges on him and all that. But he's just not old enough yet. I was so happy to hear that. My mom was actually on my side, so I wasn't in trouble. The only bad part about this all was I still wasn't able to take a shit until after all this was done. And um, yeah, nah, I don't know what to say about that. But then that was just fourth grade, fifth grade. All right, y'all. So that was just fourth grade. Now, by fifth grade, I was doing the same thing. I was always in the computer lab. I was always skipping school. I was always late for school. I was getting suspended two or three times in like a month, for average. Um, it was just not for me. And like the, the most hardcore thing I remember in fifth grade was some girl. She started her period in class. Like I'm not gonna say who's, who, who it was, but she knows who it was. And uh, I, I think you're doing good now, but like I'm just saying, like I know you remember this. So she she actually gave me a memory that I never forgot in my life. So one time this girl started appearing in class, and she asked to go see the nurse, and I saw like red stuff on her butt, and I was just like, damn, she spilled some Kool Aid or something. And then um, some other kid named Michael, he gets in trouble, and he has to go sit on the on the chair over there in the back. So he goes sits on this chair, and he pulls it up. He says. Oh, I remember his face, bro. He just looks at me. He's like, oh, and I'm like, what, what? We, and the whole class, it's like a puddle of blood, dog. Oh, he's all like, damn, that's blood. And it was crazy, but I don't know why I brought that up. That was just a crazy experience. But by fifth grade, they said, even though he flunked, we don't want him in the school. We got to pass him up. We got to pass him up. We don't want him in this district no more like type shit like not in the district they just didn't want me in elementary they they were like he's too hardcore for elementary we gotta pass him up you know what i'm saying but all right you guys i hope y'all enjoyed this video that's basically just like a quickie of my elementary experience which it was way more rough than that but um 
I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. If y'all really enjoyed this video, make sure y'all share. Run this up. And I will drop um, how my middle school experience was, which is the whole different ball game you know what i'm saying this is where actually i became a man so if y'all want to hear that um make sure y'all like subscribe comment all that good stuff man let's get it